governor, Governor Bill Lee, more than a thousand airmen and soldiers are heading to Florida. They're packing their bags tonight, ready to go to work in the hurricane disaster zone. WSMV's Michael Warwick spoke to a soldier going on that mission. As Hurricane Ian made landfall as a monster Cat 4, Tennessee guardsmen and women geared up. We train, we practice, we do all these things to be ready at a moment's notice. It's game day. We want to go, we want to help. 1,200 of them across the state are headed to Florida tomorrow, ready to help in the disaster zone wherever it's needed. It's always exciting to go on a mission. Uh, it's why we put on the uniform, it's why we serve. Captain Bryce Bishop is in his 17th year in the military, a medical specialist. He's been on humanitarian missions before. He knows the needs will be significant, and he'll do whatever he can to help, whether it's medical support, supplies, or cleanup. It's always a little chaotic. Although um, it's always highly rewarding too, knowing that we're, we're helping out communities in need and people are generally highly grateful and it makes our jobs a lot easier. While these troops make the sacrifice, so too do their families as the soldiers plan to stay in Florida as long as their help is needed. Seeing the early images of damage, Bishop will do whatever it takes. You know, it, it's devastating and again, that's why uh, it's, it's humbling to be able to put on the uniform, be able to go out and be able to be able to help. Well, the plan for most of these troops is to arrive in the northern part of Florida and watch and wait to see where Hurricane Ian does most of its damage before they head south to help. From Barry Field, Michael Warwick, WSMV4. Thanks so much, Michael. Appreciate that. And a group of Red Cross volunteers from our area are also in Florida now helping folks during the storm. We brought these to you yesterday. The story of this, these two women, their main job, providing meals. Also, Tima has sent an emergency strike team throughout the state to help folks impacted there. And don't forget, you can track Ian right along with our team of uh, certified most accurate team of meteorologists. And we also could see some remnants of Ian reach here in Middle Tennessee. So just search WSMV4 Weather in your app store and you can download that app for free.